Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is summer. It actually feels like summer here. Oh, I'm excited. We're headed out to get some stuff to work on our property, to work with our chicken stuff, to make our chicken stuff better. In homeschool, the last couple of days, Gabby has been working really hard on her driver's test. She has to take the written test um, very soon. You guys know her birthday's coming up. She'll be 16 in Canada where we live. You can't get your learner's permit until you're 16. And then if you take a driver's course, you can get your license before 17. If you don't take a driver's course, you can still get your license when you turn 17. Oh, also in news, beyond Gabby's driving test, Sam is also scheduled for surgery soon. Sam, what are you getting done? I'm getting a brand new knee. So Sam had some knee damage uh, years and years ago at his job and it has caused him a lot of problems. And typically in Canada, they don't give them brand new knees until they're 70, but his problems are so severe and it limits his quality of life. So they have decided to do the surgery before he turned 70, 20 whole years before he turned 70. So he's getting a new knee. And so last summer we didn't have a truck and it messed up our whole showing season. This summer, we're not gonna have a driver. <laughs> Gabby can learn to drive. Yeah, Gabby will have to learn to drive. Like, this is the year. Oh, that is so convenient. So Gabby, you're the one taking us to driving, to shows. These are so cute. Every time we go someplace, Sam and Gabby always stay in the car, and Sophie and I always do the shopping. It's the new way. What are they? Like, what is the purpose of that? Message in a bottle. Yeah, it let me throw it into the ocean. We're here to get something to help with the chicken coop. Sam went to get wood. But before we leave, I have to check out the dog stuff. I have little balls like this for Ellie, but I keep losing them. Grandkids are coming soon, and that means sleeping in the trailer. So we're trying to get this area of our yard cleaned up a bit so that we can figure out what we're going to do with the trailer. I'm also determined to teach Ellie how to catch a ball and bring it back. These ones might be too big. Go, get it. Get it. Bring it here. Bring it here! I mean, at least she's fine. <laughs> Good girl, bring it to me! Good girl, look, get it! This way, sweet. Mom. <laughs> she can pick it up. <laughs> Good girl! Good girl! Get it! Bring it! Bring it here! <laughs> Good girl! Yeah! She doesn't want me to have it. My plan today was to bring the big horses in and groom them, but we got busy doing chicken stuff. We all helped, and then Sophie and I sat in the sun for a little while. It was relaxing. This little dog is literally turning into the best, the absolute best farm dog. I had my doubts because of her size, because she's still small and I worried about the horses, but she's doing really well with the horses. The thing that really surprised me that I'm the most excited about is the fact that she, fo whoops, she follows me everywhere. So because of that, I hardly have to worry about her. I never have to go looking for her. Like she's been a dream. She's been out with me all day today, all day working in the yard. What are you eating? She does eat stuff though. I am as obsessed with her now as I was when I first got her, like even more so. I love this little dog, holy moly. You come in, Ellie? Oh yeah, she's right here. Oh. It is hot today though. So hot. Yeah. I'm so ready to open that door and let the sun into our arena. Hi. Hi. You have a leaf on me. I have a leaf on me? Where? <laughs> on your butt. I know, I plan to be down in the barn all day today. Sophie's hoping to take a lesson, a showmanship lesson with a friend. Hi. And we're just, we're just waiting for her. Bye-bye. Aww. I think I'm coming. I'm coming, Mama. <laughs> she's staying Oh, and she's winning she's too. too. Yeah. Hello, little pony. Hi. Oh, I just wish all this hair could come out. Like it got hot fast, and she has so much hair. She's like, where's my butt scratches? So much hair. Like, I know. She looks so fat, but she's hair. I know. Oh, are you being lazy now, too? It's almost time to get working, lady, ladies. Oh. I missed it, I missed the canter. We never get summer before other areas and there are some places in the States that still have snow and we ne that never happens to us. So I'm gonna drag this arena, I'm gonna have this arena, I'm gonna get this arena dragged this week. Miss America, here she comes, Miss America. 
There's a way to do we do this. Wow, they have this all down to an art. <laughs> she has to take a break for her drink. You are such a good girl. <laughs> Did you see that? She was. She, call, call her again. <laughs> Back to me. She licks her bowl clean like a good girl. My son was here the other day and he always goes out into the field to see Chino because he loves Chino. She's like, I'm going to eat. And he's like, don't you ever brush these horses? <laughs> like it's shedding season and Penny's not shedding too bad. Actually now. I know, as soon as it's... Wait, can we all have a bath this week? Uh, no. Well, tomorrow is supposed to be the warmest day. The problem is, even though it's getting really warm here, it still gets cold at night. Too cold at night for them to be drying. So if you like wash her during the day and then... I don't know, I'll have to ask somebody and see because I don't like to get them too wet. I want to also when give it's gonna be cold. honey a bath. I know, I want honey... I want to... Sophie and I want to shave honey. <laughs> I also want to shave Willow because yeah. Willow's... But we won't do it. I mean, I don't mind if we shave Willow. Because she's we, already been shaved. She's already, like, regulated her coat and knows what her her body knows what it's doing. But Honey is just a baby, so... So once she's older. When she's older, we'll be shaving her, though. Ah, We're back reunited with Emma. Look at Sophie the Horse Whisperer. Everywhere she goes, all the horses go. And the outdoor is open. It's official. Life is about to get real. Those first few rides when the horses have been inside all winter and then we come outside, it gets crazy. Look how big this ring is though. Huge. Emma is wearing an interesting shirt today. What's your shirt say, Emma? Finn and Sophie. Finn and Sophie. Are you team Finn and Sophie? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> So Emma's riding Denver today. She is loving her lessons. She looks so good up there. Outside today, Gabby's gonna be Gabby's gonna be excited. So we came extra early because Emma rides before us and she likes us to be here because she's not like super familiar a couple more times and she'll probably just come on her own and we'll come at our regular time and then we'll see her like at the end of the lessons. You guys know how I explain like how Nash we never rode him before because he was never like suitable but then he went and had this extensive training for a long time for four months and he came back and he's been great well all the time that gabby's ever seen him ride and not be completely suitable he had an older rider all the time was outside so i think she's nervous and brandon doesn't know how he's gonna react <laughs> but i have faith Emma's experiencing the lazy lesson pony for the first time in her life. She's doing so good. Like, look at her. So this is like only the second time she's ever posted before and she's doing so good. Wow. So she's just learning to post on a lazy lesson pony. You guys know what that's like. Like the last lesson that she had was the first time she ever was the first time she ever posted before? Trust me, I will. I think. Squeeze your ankle, squeeze your ankle, squeeze. Squeeze the ankle, good. Up, down, up, down. I love it. I think she's doing so fabulous. I swear, she has no fear. She just gets up there and goes. Like, to get Denver to keep moving is so difficult, but she's doing so good. I can't believe how good she's doing. Remember last time? I haven't seen her yet. Oh, well, like, this is the second time ever that she's ever posted. And the first time she had a hard time even getting up. And now she's, like, posting all the way around. And she's keeping him going. Are you ready for Denver outside? Denver. I mean, are you ready for Nash outside? Denver's got a lot smaller. All right, yeah. Are you ready for the first ride outside? Eh, Gabby says she's not excited, but there's a lot of pros to it. What are the pros? Not using corners. Not using corners? Oh, I heard he was out there making Emma use corners. And then those two are going in the other room. It's not that bad. Thumper bit your face. It's so bad. Gabby oh, just said. I Gab told you. Yeah. He no. attacked. Yeah. After he attacked me. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Gabby said, don't hold him. He will attack you. He bit your face? Yeah. Oh. Well, my eye, specifically. 
Just want to make sure your eye's looking okay after that. I've been checking it this whole time. Yeah. Does it seem watery? No. Oh, I see water in there. Wow. I'll have to clean it, flush it out when we get home just in case. Did he cut you above your eye? Like he bit you above your eye? He bit you or scratched you? He bit me. Above your eye? Don't you know that you're beautiful?